I'm Percy Dovetonsils. On this date in 1215, King John signed the Magna Carta, granting his barons more liberty. In fact, with the new freedom, that's when the Red Baron began making his pizzas. On this date in 1752, it's said that Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity while flying a kite and key. It's also the day his friends coined the phrase, I can't believe he fell for that gag. Some people were shocked, but not as much as Ben. It helped him overcome the nickname of Whack Job Franklin. Someone told him to fly one, and the rest was history. When he ended up locked out of his house, no one was shocked. Well, except Ben. It's also the day the phrase was coined, what's that nut doing out there? Yes, Franklin discovered electricity with a key, a kite, and a half case of beer. History rarely notes the beer. Not only that, but he had to wait for his key to cool down to get back into his house. On this date in 1775, the Second Continental Congress unanimously appointed George Washington as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. All that was left was to convince Washington that the British liked cherry trees, as you know, George didn't. In 1785, the first man to fly, Jean Pilatre de Rosier, died when his balloon crashed during an English Channel crossing. Yeah, flying has never been dangerous. It's the landings that'll kill you. On this date in 1804, the Twelfth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was ratified, defining how the President and Vice President are chosen. For the record, nowhere in the amendment does it include storming the Capitol building as part of the process. On this date, in 1844, Charles Goodyear received a patent for the vulcanization of rubber. Ironically, they said it was a good year for rubber on the planet Vulcan. His slogan, drive long and prosper. Of course, tires, cars, and such things had yet to be invented, so we think he had help. He boasted that, with this technique, all of his tires had a Vulcan death grip, and the rest was history. I'll bet you had no idea that Goodyear was a Vulcan. This, of course, was a century before Mr. Spock and the planet Vulcan were discovered. Years later, it helped pave the way when Mr. Spock invented the vulcanized tire grip. John Lennon and Paul McCartney met for the first time at a church picnic on this date back in 1956. Today is National Foam Party Day, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, Global Wind Day, National Megalodon Day, Magna Carta Day, Nature Photography Day, National Smile Power Day, and National Career Nurse Assistance Day. Time to get out there and hit those after Flag Day sales. We're midway through June. Father's Day is this Sunday. Guitarist Billy Martin from the band Good Charlotte celebrates his 42nd birthday today. Out of habit, George Steinbrenner fired him. Neil Patrick Harris, all three of him, turns the big 5-0 today. Leah Romini, who escaped Scientology and the King of Queens, turns 53 today. Ice Cube turns 54 today. His real name is O'Shea Jackson Sr. So, he had a son. A bit disappointed he didn't name him Trey. He expects to stay at home and chill. Something. He's been successful since coming out of the tray. At what point should he upgrade his name to something like Shaved Ice? I wonder how he feels about global warming. Wonder how much longer it takes until he changes his name to Old Ice? Or Glacier? Courtney Cox, aka Monica from Friends, is 59 today. She plans a quiet evening at home, vacuuming, cleaning, and putting everything in its proper order. Again. Friends don't tell friends how old she is. AARP is among her friends. At least in the mail department. Helen Hunt hits the big 6-0 today. She's most famous for Twister, the movie, not the game. Julie Haggerty from The Airplane. The movie's turned 68 today. And stop calling her Shirley. Jim Belushi turned 69 today, according to Jim. And finally, with Father's Day rolling around this Sunday, we thought we'd spotlight a dad in Belgium who faked his death. And then, during his funeral last weekend, he arrived in a helicopter to see if people cared about him. They might have up until the plane landed. With exciting facts to clutter your mind, I'm Percy Dovetonsils, for KDAZ, Digital Broadcasting. And thanks for listening.